Okay, so very rarely do I like talking about my own golf game, but I've just had a lesson with one of the world's best golf coaches, Mr. David Ledbetter. And I've been grinding on my game for quite some time now to no avail, but I think I've finally got it with this ridiculously simple feeling, which can hopefully help you get good at golf as well. If you wanna do that, hit that subscribe button for golf daily related videos. So as if by magic, look who's appeared. David, how much better is this than yesterday? And thank you so much for your time yesterday. But just a real quick... So I've been hitting golf balls for quite some time, and I feel like I had the takeaway down. There's a feeling that I've just incorporated. I've just literally been hitting some golf balls while Bobby's been busy editing, haven't you, Bobby? Good man. It's funny how you get into a rhythm, and one thing that David said stuck in my mind. You see, I've been working on my takeaway literally since I was about 10 years old. I feel like it's getting better. I was getting in a good position, and I was getting into a good position at the top, and generally hitting it like that. Not the best strike. This is a six iron. The ball hasn't been going that far. It's been like 150, 160 yards. And I'm thinking, surely my six iron should be going further than that. And in practice, I don't always mind me striking it because you're working on a different feeling. So it's not going to be the end of the world. But while the takeaway has been getting better and visually looking better, keeping my hands closer to my leg and then getting it in a good position at the top, I've still had the odd miss hit in there, the miss hit, the close face, the swing path has been better. You see that's gone further, that's 172, and the swing path's nicely in to in. We can look at the swing in slow motion there. Head speed's good, ball speed's good, spin rate's good. Everything's pretty much there for a six iron. But how do I get this to be consistent and how do I hit it straighter? Well, I've just had it on string literally five minutes ago, so I wanted to share this feeling with you. So hopefully I can rewatch this and revisit it so I can carry on bottling these feelings. Now what I'm feeling, and David said these exact words, when you move the club away, feel as though you're moving it with your core and feel as though there's pressure going into your left foot. I've always thought, start with pressure in your left foot and move it into the right foot. But that makes me slide a little bit and sway off the ball. So actually, by feeling as though I take the club away and feel as though pressure works into the left foot, yes, I'm still getting the club in the right position, and once I'm in this position where the club's level with the ground, I can then load up to the right-hand side. Now, this is something which could be so simple. A lot of you might think, well, I do this anyway, but it feels like it separates my backswing a lot better. I feel like I'm hitting the ball a lot further, and generally, this is how, hopefully, I've been hitting the ball. Club works away, pressure works into that left side. I feel like it goes into almost the left heel. From there, I can load up to the top. I'm in a much better position again. And I've started hitting shots, actually, a lot higher, a lot straighter. And for me, what feels like what can be a lot more consistent. So generally, if I can get that feeling time after time after time, it's gonna really help me potentially get good at golf. It can hopefully help you as well. Let's have another better demonstration this way. So it's not a stack and tilt, but it's just pressure into the left foot as I set the club up. And we can really start to see a vast improvement. That's going a lot further. What's that one? 181 yards, releasing up to 192. So you can see I'm actually imparting more club head speed on there. I'm getting better ball speed there. And the spin rate's still around 5,000, which for me, for a six iron, I'm gonna take all day long. So guys, I'm really hoping this is gonna help my game and in turn, help your game. Look at that because I want to enjoy my golf. That's why I do it, that's why I practice, that's why I do these videos for you guys. And if I can start hitting a six iron 190 yards, all of a sudden, I feel like I'm getting good at golf and hopefully you can do that too. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna practice all day. Oh, look at that one, Bobby. That's the one, right there. Excellent. Excellent. So as if by magic, look who's appeared. David, how much better is this than yesterday? And thank you so much for your time yesterday. I feel like it's there. And for me, I feel like that's actually straightening the right leg more as well, so I can get more. Yeah. I mean, you know, the interesting thing is, say we, we talk about pressure and weight transfer, and actually, as if you do if you do this correctly, 
Nice shot, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you do this correctly. Pressure builds up on your front foot. Yeah. On your lead foot. Okay? Yeah. On <laughs> your left foot in your case, right. And what that indicates too is that there's actually a little bit more of a tilting going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I really dislike the term or the word turn. Yeah. Because turning it gives you all sorts of different connotations. And it, do we turn? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we do. But yeah, this this movement here is like a piston movement. Where you're yeah. Doing this. You know? So so actually, you know, this is probably an area that I've probably changed a little bit over the years because like we've been working with Sir Nick a lot. We worked on. And it's not the case for everybody because that's the thing with teaching. I mean, for some players, you know, low, locking almost like keeping that right leg in flexion mm -hmm. is actually good because yeah. it's like you know they get they get too twisty. It's mm. like they're right sit in that right knee. For the most part, actually, if you want to load correctly, sort of into your right buttock, if you will, mm -hmm. into your heel, this is the movement that you that you need to try to. Cross. Yeah. And so. That ties in very nicely with the take. Yeah, you know, well, it's really got me excited. So thank you so much. Oh no, pleasure, man. Pleasure. Thank pleasure. you. Can't believe I can't believe it. I'm staggered. Well, you know, if you work on the right thing, you know, it, it sort of makes sense. You know, it's like it's probably maybe more of people start to incorporate a little bit of a Ludwig. We'll call that yeah. Ludwig. You know, that that little rehearsal. Yeah. Uh, nice because it, you know, just just to ensure that yeah, you because know, if you get off to a good start, it sets the whole. It's there, isn't it? Chain go. Like head speeds up by about three miles an hour as well, which for six irons, decent return, isn't it? Well, it's more efficient. You know, they say it's looking nice and compact. I mean, that's that's a nice thing too. You, you, it just looks like you're synchronizing. Where as you complete your rotation, you're almost completing nice your arm swing at the same mm. time. There's maybe a couple extra breaks. Yeah, yeah. But now, so that really leads to you. Making that change of direction, which is a, an extension of almost an extension of your backswing. You know, yeah. Where does the backswing end? Where does the downswing start? You know? Yeah. Because, you know, if. Where does the dog start and where does the tail? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What we said yesterday, isn't it? Precisely. Yeah. So, you know, this, this it's a very athletic movement mm. and it's, it's actually very simple. I'm a very athletic person. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David.